there's no, it's not a team game or it's not a, it's not an environment. The longer we go back in time, there are less opportunities than now for people to, you know, there were this, these pockets of, there were small pockets of opportunities, which, you know, if you don't win this tournament, you don't get the next one. It's very stressful. So when I became a grandmaster, as I was saying, and the pain, uh, dealing all these years of dealing with the pain and losing and everything, uh, a relief at first. It was very hard for me to progress because I could not go back looking at my games that I lost. I had a hard time learning from my experiences. That really pushed me away from from progress as fast as I could. And I would always change my openings from the, from bad losses. Like if I lose a game and I just realize that I played the opening correctly, I would try to look for something else. I would try to throw it under the rod instead of going head on and say, okay, I made this mistake. I'm going to fix this. And the next time, if this position happens on the board, I'm going to play it better. I would say not all the time, but hardly ever I did that. You know, a grandmaster, a, a true, now I do this. A true chess lover goes through that and learns and the next time I'm going to do it right. At that time, maybe 15%, 20% of the time I would do that. And that was a very bad uh, approach. Nobody, nobody tried to teach me that, you know, learn deeply from your losses and mistakes. Because in chess, it's very important. You don't learn, you get all these tools out there, but you learn the most from your own mistakes. Mm-hmm. And this unwillingness to deal with the pain of losses was a factor that delayed my progress in chess.